Francois Jean Lefebvre de la Barre was a young French nobleman who was born in 1745. He was tortured and beheaded before his body was burnt on a pyre along with Voltaire's philosophical dictionary nailed to his torso. La Barre is often said to have been executed for not saluting a Roman Catholic religious procession, though other charges of a similar nature were laid against him. On August 9, 1765, the wooden crucifix on a bridge in Abville was vandalized. Catholicism was then the state religion of France and the religion of the vast majority of the French public, especially in the devout town of Abville, where this act caused widespread shock and anger. Voltaire says that Louis-Francois Gabriel d'Orléans de la Motte, the Bishop of Amiens, roused the furor of the faithful and asked churchgoers to reveal all they could about the case to the civilian judges, under pain of excommunication. However, Chassain says that he came, at the town father's request, to calm emotions but that the ceremony had the opposite effect. The church was obliged under secular law to make the proclamations looking for witnesses, Voltaire mentions these proclamations, without clarifying that fact. Nobody actually revealed anything about the vandalism itself, but Du Maisnil de Belleval, a local judge who had quarreled with young La Bar, gathered damaging evidence against a group of friends, possibly not realizing his own son was part of the group. Among other things, it came out that three young men, Guillard d'Etalande, Jean-Francois de La Bar, and Moissnel had not removed their hats when a Corpus Christi procession went by. This incident is often cited as the main basis for the charges. But numerous other blasphemies were alleged as well, including defecation on another crucifix, singing impious songs and spitting on religious images. Soon, Duville de Malefou and Belleval's own son Savus were also implicated. But these two along with Dedalonde, also the son of a former mayor, managed to flee, and ultimately only Dedalonde was named along with La Barre in the sentence. Though no culprit was identified in the specific attack, Moissnel testified that he had seen Dedalonde strike the statue with his cane on previous occasions. Dedalonde appears in much of the testimony as the leader and instigator of the group of friends, the only two who ended up in custody, Moissnel and La Barre, were both orphans and from outside Abville. During the inquiry, La Barre's bedroom was searched and among his mainly pornographic prohibited books, Voltaire's philosophical dictionary was found, providing a pretext to blame the philosophes for the young men's misbehavior. On February 20, 1766, Duval de Soicourt and two other local judges handed down the sentence. Regarding Jean-Francois Lefebvre, Chevalier de la Barre, we declare him convicted of having taught to sing and sung impious, execrable and blasphemous songs against God, of having profaned the sign of the cross in making blessings accompanied by foul words which modesty does not permit repeating, of having knowingly refused the signs of respect to the holy sacrament carried in procession by the priory of Saint-Pierre, of having shown these signs of adoration to foul and abominable books that he had in his room, of having profaned the mystery of the consecration of wine, having mocked it, in pronouncing the impure terms mentioned in the trial record over a glass of wine which he held in his hand and then drunk in the wine, of having finally proposed to Patinya, who was serving Mass with him, to bless the Cruets while pronouncing the impure words mentioned in the trial record, in reparation of which, we condemn him to make honorable amend, in smock, head bare and a rope around his neck, holding in his hands a burning candle of two pounds before the principal door of the royal church. Of St. Wolfram, where he will be taken in a tumbrel by the executioner who will attach before and behind him a sign on which will be written, in large letters impious one, and there, being on his knees, will confess his crimes, this done, will have the tongue cut out and will then be taken in the said tumbrel to the public marketplace of this city to have his head cut off on a scaffold, his body and his head will then be thrown on a pyre to be destroyed, burnt, reduced to ashes and these thrown to the wind. We order that before the execution of the said Lefebvre de la Barre the ordinary and the extraordinary question, that is, torture, will be applied to have from his mouth the truth of several facts of the trial and revelation about his accomplices. We order that the philosophical dictionary be thrown by the executioner on the same pyre as the body of the said Lefebvre de la Barre. Note that this sentence does not mention the mutilation of a cross which had provoked the original inquiry. Despite Voltaire's later claim that the court had applied an old obscure sentence for witchcraft, this sentence conformed to the statutory penalty for blasphemy and sacrilege. It is less certain however that this penalty was usually applied in practice, and Lingue later highlighted a number of defects in the legal forms of the case. On 4th of June, the Paris Parlement, more a judicial than a legislative body, confirmed the sentence on appeal. It is sometimes claimed that it added the relatively standard stipulation that La Barre be tortured just before being executed. Typically this was done to oblige the accused to reveal any accomplices. However, the obvious sentence already included this stipulation and the note that the dictionary should be burned as well. The key significance of the Parlement's confirmation was to give judicial legitimacy to a sentence that Voltaire and Lingue, among others, would later portray as the result of petty local quarrels. 
Chessain notes however that the Parlement itself might have had its own political reasons for its decision. On 1st of July, La Bar was tortured early in the morning. Though he appears to have been with others when he committed some of the lesser acts named in the sentence, he refused to name any even under torture. Later the same day he was beheaded and his body burned, the ashes thrown in the Somme River. Voltaire's work was burned along with La Barre's body. In France, Lefebvre de La Barre is widely regarded a symbol of the victims of Christian religious intolerance, along with Jean Collis and Pierre Paul Sirvin, all championed by Voltaire. A statue to de la Barre stands near the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Jesus of Paris at the summit of the Butte Montmartre. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Love of Learning channel to see more videos like this one. The two videos shown on the screen might interest you. Click on them to learn more.